What's going on YouTube, it's Robert Hall, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about using two Godox Masters at the same time. This video ends up helping you out, please make sure to remember to hit that like button before you take off. So by far the most common issue that I read about when people are having consistency issues when using Godox lighting is when they are using two different Godox masters to control the same set of off-camera lighting. And by master, I mean the device that is on camera controlling the off camera units, whether it be the X Pro, the X1, or the speed lights like the V860 version 2 or the TT685. Now, I've seen multiple instances of this issue both multiple photographers attempting to use the same off camera lighting setup, or one photographer using two camera bodies for that off camera lighting setup. Regardless, I want to clear up the behavior of these devices in this situation so that people can get more consistent results. First, let me explain how the X-Pro and the X1 work. Both of these devices send two different types of signals. First, they send a fire signal, which triggers when to precisely fire the flash, and they also send an information signal, which communicates the power setting or mode setting. By default, the X1 and the X-Pro conserve battery life by splitting when they send these type of signals out. Whenever you change the power setting on either of these transmitters, it knows that it needs to relay that information to the flash, so it sends an information signal. But after that, once you start clicking away, it's only sending a fire signal. And it will continue to only send that fire signal until one of two things happens. Either you hit that test button, or you change the power settings. And by power setting, I mean either changing the manual power setting or changing the mode such as TTL. Now the VA62 and the TT685, they don't behave this way. The speed lights will send out an information signal whenever you fire the flash, whether you hit the shutter or you hit the test button. So the reason people experience an issue with consistency is because as they switch devices, they are never sending out a new information signal when they are using the X Pro or X1. So let's say photographer 1 uses a V860 version 2 to trigger off camera group A at 1128th power. And photographer 2 decides to use the X Pro to trigger that same off camera group A, but instead at half power. They both set up their lights and test it, everything's fine. Photographer 1 starts shooting at 1/128th power. Now, photographer 2 starts shooting. Then photographer 2 is going to continue firing at 1/128th power, which was set on the V860 version 2. Until photographer 2 either changes the power setting or hits the test button, it's going to continue to fire at 1/128th power. So if you're trying to use different power settings on two different cameras or for multiple photographers, the first thing you can do is just use V860 version 2s or the TT685 as a master. These will have no issue switching the power every time they flash. But if you want to use either one V860 version 2 and one X Pro or two X Pros or an X1 and X Pro, two X1s, anything like that, if you want to mix those up, that's when you're going to run into the issue. So you either need to hit the test button every time you change photographers or change cameras, which definitely not elegant or you need to enable the shoot function that is built in to the X1 or the X Pro. You can see on the X Pro there are three options, a single head for a single photographer, three heads indicating multiple photographers, or the app option, which lets the iPhone app control the power settings. By using the option with three heads, the X Pro will send out an information signal with every flash. This way it updates as you switch back and forth between cameras without any additional steps like hitting the test button. And this works really well with multiple photographers too. The only negative is that this is going to drain the battery on your trigger a lot faster. And that's because it's sending out a signal to every group every time you hit the shutter. The shoot function is available on the custom functions of the Godox X1 as well. If you don't see it, that just means that your firmware is out of date, so you better go find a PC and update your firmware. Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out. Comment below with any questions, subscribe if you want to see more, and until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.